Hey there CNCers, Scott here from CNC Labs. Your new long mill is going to need a place to call home, so I'm going to show you how I modified one of my current workbenches to accommodate my new toy. The long mill Mark II. Whoa! Including the handy dandy T-tracks used to clamp your pieces down. Let's plunge in! Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell to get all the latest and greatest content from CNC Labs. There are lots of options out there for workbenches. It doesn't matter if you're starting from scratch or MacGyvering something to make it work. I'll post a link to the workbench and T-Track resources on our website. You'll find lots of great information there on everything we're going to cover in this video. My advice? Research what other people have built and then build something that suits your needs. I had a few things that were important for my personal design. I wanted my new long mill to be at the same height as my other bench. Ish. The bench needed to be on wheels for accessibility sake. And it needed to fit into the space I had available for it. So I thought I had my design figured out. But then when I started actually modifying the bench, I didn't want the entire top raised up. So I decided to only make it 48 by 48. To attach all the two by fours together, I kept it clean and simple. Two and a half inch construction screws all the way. Before I attached my 2x4s to my existing workbench, I wanted to make sure that it was as square as possible. So I took a tape measure, and you measure from opposite corner to opposite corner, and if those dimensions are the same, then you're square. If it's not, give it a little nudge in either direction and you'll square it up. To attach my 2x4s to my workbench, I used some number 8 inch and a quarter particle board screws and some 2.5 inch L brackets to make sure everything was secured down. There really was no rhyme or reason as to where I put my L brackets on my bench. I just wanted to make sure it was screwed down securely. For your bench, do what works best for your situation. Just make sure it's strong. The design to this point has been very custom to my specific needs. The next steps with the MDF base, strips, and T-tracks are pretty standard. However, feel free to customize them to your specific needs. The next step in our bench build is to grab our sheet of MDF and screw it down to the base. I made sure to pre-drill all the holes with a countersink bit to make sure that the MDF doesn't split. I used about one foot spacing on my screw holes to make sure it was secured properly. Look at me go! I took the time to measure and mark out where I wanted my screws to go. You definitely don't need to be this detail oriented, but I'm a little... And if you look close, you can still see where I messed up once. Oh well. Now that we've got our MDF base attached to our workbench, it's time to slice and dice the remaining MDF into strips. I found I was able to get 6 inch strips leaving me with one spare in case I ever need to replace one. Let's start cutting! Now that we've got our strips cut, it's time to screw them down to the base. A couple of tips. Clamps are your friends when doing this. Pre-drilling will save you fits of rage, and making it as square as possible will save you a lot of headaches in the long run. When you order the T-Trax kit, it comes with everything you need other than the MDF strips and screws to hold it down. It even comes with a free musical instrument. Hobbly, 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 hobbly. Didgeridoo! 
Before I marked or measured anything, I used two F-clamps to hold the strip down to the base. That way nothing moves around while you're marking and measuring everything out. So just like we did for the base sheet of MDF, you're going to want to mark and measure your locations. The difference is you're going to see these screws, so I made sure that everything lined up nice nice. The great part about the clamps that come with the T-Track kit is that they're made from quarter inch 20 hex head bolts versus T-bolts that are commonly used. Another great part is that they're cheap and easy to find in different lengths, so if you want to customize your own clamps, it's easy enough to do. The T-Tracks and clamps are easy enough to use. Simply slide your bolt head into the T-Track, position your clamp over your workpiece. Spin the red handle down to snug to your workpiece. Then make sure the bolt side is higher than the handle side to provide enough tension to hold it all in place. Use as many clamps or other work holding methods necessary to make sure it's held down securely. And last but not least, pay special attention to where your tool path is going to carve so that your bit and your clamps don't get too cuddly. Look out! Easy peasy! Now that I've got my bench built and T-Tracks installed, it's time to introduce you to... The Terminator! I'll be back. So there you have it! One MacGyvered workbench into the new home for my Long Mill Mark II. There's lots of ways to clamp your work down, but the T-Track kit from CNC makes sure your work stays in place rock solid. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And you want to see more cool content, check out our website or our YouTube and make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you around the CNC.